So we with the discovery team here. There's James Gibbons with us and Amanda Turnbull. Guys, nice to see that you're partnering um, with Image Nation on the launch of Quest Arabia. Could you share a little bit about partnership? Sure. Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, Quest is a partnership um, for us to, uh, you know, work with Image Nation on on this free-to-air channel across the Middle East and Middle Eastern region. And uh, our role is to, you know, supply the uh, make make our library available for Quest to adapt for for, for their audiences. Right. So that's essentially what what the channel is. I hear this is a model that you've um, probably uh, carried out in other markets as well. Yeah, I mean, I think more more generally, um, you know, we we do have uh, our business is is. Uh, covers many platforms, so we are mainly a pay TV business, um, but in certain markets where there is a big free-to-air audience, we also have some free-to-air channels, some, some free-to-air presence as well. So in that sense, um, there is a model, uh, for example, in the UK, uh, Quest exists as a free-to-air channel alongside our pay TV portfolio there. Um, so yes, in a sense, um, this is something which we have done around the world. Yeah. But Quest is only in the UK and in Abu Dhabi right now. Yeah, I mean, with that name, but you know, essentially there are different names for different free-to-air channels that we have. Right. Okay, Manda, can you add a little more about the regional um, participation? Yeah, I mean, I think what's interesting about this is, as James says, there is a vast library of content that Discovery has. We've been uh, in the business of producing the best factual entertainment in the world for the last almost 30 years now. Uh, so there's a huge library and it's a question of what we can do with that. And in this market, it's an interesting opportunity, we feel. Uh, our content will always premiere and the home of our first run will always be in pay. But we have an opportunity uh, with our relationship with Image Nation to build something which is going to get to a mass audience. And I think the key thing is that Image Nation have committed to languaging and reversioning and, and making that content more relevant for the local market. Right. So that's what I think will be interesting. The other thing about them is that they have a local production capacity to, to really make local productions, which we hope will run here and then maybe on other discovery networks around the world. Right. So what is the business model? I'm we, we, have a, we have an arrangement that, that we believe uh, works, works well. And, um, you know, we shall see how it evolves. And I think that you know every every partnership um, is is unique, and so uh, this one's so different. Right. Anything else you'd like to add, Amanda? Well, I think it's going to be really interesting. It's great that we get more of a presence in the region. It complements our Fatter Feet, which is our free-to-air channel. Uh, and it's a question of really making an impact and trying to make a difference. You said that anything that's regionalized here, you could potentially use uh, in any of your channels outside this region. But anything that's regionalized here would be a copyright of Quest Arabia then, or how would it work? Well, it's more about the storytelling. So if you think about it, in this region there are so many enormous projects, infrastructure projects, things being built, which is a classic sort of discovery uh, thing that we want to we'll want to talk about. So there's the educational angle to that, but there's also the yeah. human interest in the stories and why are these things being built and how are they being built and who is building them. Right. So the, we think that that is an interesting starting point. And we think that there's something of a gap in the market for great news stories coming out of this region and, and getting to a broader global audience. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay.